Disney World Resort. His parents have only spoken publicly once since then. But now they're opening up, revealing a wonderful new way that they are honoring the memory of their son. NBC's Kerry Sanders is in Omaha, Nebraska with more. Kerry, good morning. Well, good morning, Matt. Children from all over the nation come here to Nebraska Medicine for life-saving organ transplant surgeries. But when they come here, what doesn't stop are those everyday costs of life. And when they're here for weeks, months, even years, those costs can become crippling. But now, no more thanks in memory to Lane Graves. It was the story that shocked the nation, a parent's worst nightmare. I want to turn down to that horrific alligator attack at a Disney World resort. Two-year-old Lane Graves from Nebraska on vacation with his family at Disney World when he was snatched, dragged underwater, and killed by an alligator. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But this morning, his memory is alive and well because in his horrific death, his heartbroken parents discovered an unmet need. Lane had a very special light about it. We promised him at his wake we would turn this tragedy into good for many families. Every year, upwards of 30 children come to Nebraska Medicine in Omaha for life-saving transplant surgery. But what does not stop in the crisis? The burden of life's expenses, like mortgage payments and electric bills. Those are now being covered by the Lane Thomas Foundation. Every time you walked into the room, he lit it up. So his legacy should really be taking that love and the light that he had and bring that to other families so they have hope. And after going through what we've been through, we feel that there's no better way to honor your child. See the lily pads? Children like 11-year-old Kylie Bush from Louisiana, who says she couldn't face her organ transplants without her mother constantly at her side. As far as how many surgeries, well, um, it's up in the 50s, 60s or more. All right, big day day. Doctors say when the pressure of mounting bills back home is lifted, mom and dad can be more focused on what really matters. So having them here is a big part of the overall aspect of this. Having the parent at the bedside is, you know, being available, being engaged is, I think, an enormously important component to the care of that child. At the Disney Resort where Lane died, there have been changes. The beach is now closed and there are new signs, fences, and a wall. We found a need and no one was helping these families. But Lane's death also now means changes for families with sick children. Our rent got paid. Um, I, I was able to travel back and forth. They've helped me. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Disney sent us a statement which reads, in part, the Lane Thomas Foundation was created to give honor and light to Lane's life. And in order to raise awareness of the foundation and its mission, we installed a sculpture of the lighthouse the foundation uses as a symbol of love and hope on our property earlier this summer. Out of tragedy, Lane's parents will now touch so many children's lives. Guys? Yeah, I wonder how many of us could do that, could, mm -hmm. could turn something so horrific into something so positive and helpful mm -hmm. for other people. Yeah, and that, that grief is still so, so fresh. This didn't happen all that long ago, but it's beautiful that they saw this need. Mm -hmm. They saw a really unmet need, and they're beautiful. doing something about it. Yeah. We want to mention to you, uh, you can find more information on the Lane Thomas Foundation. We're going to put that on our website at today.com. Mm. Let's go over to Al. You've got another check of our